well-known materials as niobium titanium, niobium 310, and also the, the related materials from, from the A15s. I think people should be aware of these materials because, first of all, these are the materials where the economics are. This is where the money is made with MRI and uh, big projects like accelerators and, and fusion systems. As you can realize, we are here in a more industrial environment and that's a place we are producing since many years superconducting wires, mainly metallic superconducting wires. And in this case, niobium titanium is the workhorse used mainly for the MRI application. The niobium type processing is, uh, let's say, a very commercial process, very well defined, so you have to uh, start with uh, a kind of a cleaning of all the components uh, of the superconductor. And then you will uh, assemble it in a billet. You will start with uh, a monofilamentary billet, so a single core. You evacuate and weld it, and then uh, you pass an extrusion to uh, reduce the dimensions of uh, the material. Then you draw it down to the monofilament that you want to reassemble in the final product, so in the multifilamentary uh, wire. In, in LOTC we have issues with strain, so sometimes the conductor needs to be strong. We have always issues with uh, stability, so sometimes uh, fine filaments are, are requested. Uh, sometimes we want a lot of copper in the, in the conductor and sometimes we only want a limited amount of copper in, in the conductor, depending on, on the protection scheme of the final application. And that's all on customer demand. Maybe only a thing like an MRI conductor, which is sold in, in like 800 tons a year. Uh, that you could call a standard product, but all the others are detailed and, and special conductors made on specific specs of the customer. If you look at the material and how big steps sometimes there are made in terms of uh, material properties, uh, there's a lot to gain and, and I think given what we know now about the other materials, there will be a, a market for these materials and the demand to use these in, in high field magnets 